Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. We wanted to share something this week that my colleague James Kemp showed me a long time ago, subtle image sharpening in Photoshop. If you're regularly saving images for web in Photoshop, then it's worth watching this simple technique that allows you to sharpen the image, but control by how much. I'm using a uh, new microphone for the first time today. It's a new Audio Technica microphone, so hopefully you'll be able to hear us a lot clearer now when we're doing the screencasts on our video blogs. So this technique is particularly useful when you're working with photography such as people, uh, animals, and in particular when you're working on a white background. So for this example, I've just got a picture of a teddy bear. And on the layers, I've just simply duplicated the layer. So I've got two layers exactly the same. Now on this uh, duplicated layer, I'm going to go to Filter, Other, and then High Pass. Now, high pass is going to help us find the detail um, that needs sharpening in our photograph. So, all you have to do is just slide the radius around until you get the sort of the sharpest uh, image on the grey. And if you're struggling to sort of see this, uh, watching this on our screencast, then essentially, if you slide the slider too far along and it starts to get a bit of a, like a glow, then you've gone too far. You want to be around the sort of one pixel radius. So let's uh, push OK and set that. What we're then going to do is, using the uh, layer effects, we're going to uh, go down to hard light, which will burn these, this new sort of uh, uh, layer onto our original layer. Now, it's probably going to be very difficult for you to see this, again, watching this on our screencast. Um, but if I sort of now chop um, half of this, uh, this layer off, you should hopefully be able to see the difference between uh, the sharpened image using the high pass method compared to the original photograph. So let's just sort of chop half this layer off. And I don't know whether you can see the difference. Obviously, the left is the original photograph, and the right hand side of the image is our sharper photograph, which, in my opinion, looks, uh, looks a lot better. Um, I'll also obviously upload this, uh, this sort of finished JPEG on the supporting blog post so that you can actually see it uh, properly um, and not on this uh, screencast video. So nice, quick and simple way there of uh, sharpening your photographs. And if the, the sharpening of the image is a little bit too strong for you, you can control the opacity of the, uh, of the high pass layer. So if it's just a little bit too sharp, you can simply uh, adjust the sharpness essentially by changing the opacity of that, uh, of that layer. Thank you for watching this week's video. Next week, we'll be talking about the best ways to redirect old web pages using 301 redirects.